Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how you can fix FC25 not launching on Steam and EA app. So without further ado, let's get started. Uh, first of all, what I suggest you to do here is to disable all the overlays. So Steam uses overlay, EA app uses overlay, Nvidia uses overlay, Discord uses overlay. So what I suggest you to do here is to just right click on the game and then disable overlay, right? And then look if the problem persists. Other thing that you need to do here is to disable all the peripherals. So if you're using controllers, uh, uh, steering wheels, VRs or something like that, just disable all the peripherals and then look if the game is crashing or not. And then if it's not crashing, plug uh, all your peripherals that you wanted to use while playing the game uh, one by one and look what caused the crash, right? Also, if you're using third-party controller apps like Revast or uh, DS4 Windows, uh, also make sure uh, uh, do not uh, run them while you run the game because also it can con conflict with the game, right? So the, this is the first step. Uh, other step, what I suggest to do here is to make sure that your operating system, uh, go to settings, windows update, uh, is fully updated. Uh, same thing with your GPU drivers, uh, go to NVIDIA. Uh, make sure these, uh, are also your GPU driver, uh, driver is fully updated, right? And then the next step, what you need to do here, go to the client where you got the game, go to personal three dots, view properties, uh, open folder, uh, copy the path of the folder, you will need this later, then go to FC25 exe file, uh, go to properties, the compatibility, and then run this program as administrator. So do same with the, your client, I'm using EA app, so you just need to go to EA, right click on it, go to open file location, EA app, uh, but it will be on Steam the same, compatibility, run this program as administrator, also make sure these two options is not selected and look if the problem persists. Uh, and if the problem persists, then also uh, clear your uh, client cache. You just need to press the horizontal lines here, uh, go to, uh, as you can see here, uh, help, app recovery, and clear cache, right? And look if the problem persists after that. Uh, another thing that you need to do here is to write run, and then write percent local app data percent, then look for EA Sports FC25, close the game, and delete this folder. Don't worry, it's just, it's just a cache file, so it won't affect your game. Uh, then go to settings. On settings, you need to go to storage, storage settings, then go to temp files, temporary files, and delete temporary files as well, right? And the next step, what we need to do here is to go to graphic settings. On graphic settings, uh, you need to go to change default settings, make sure this option is enabled. Then you need to hit browse, uh, paste the path that we copied earlier, uh, add a fc 25 exe file. Then as you can see here, I already added, so I don't need to worry about it, but here it should be, after you add it, should be a sports FC25, select it, options, select high performance, and don't use optimization for windowed games. Uh, then uh, go to edit power uh, plan options, then go to power options, and make sure it's on high performance or ultimate performance. Uh, then go to Windows Defender Firewall. Then go to allow an app or feature to Windows Defender Firewall. Change settings. Uh, allow another app. Browse. Then uh, paste the path again. And add a fc 25 exe file. Right? Uh, if you're getting error, you, this means the sports fc 25 exe file is already added. Uh, another thing that you need to do here is to go to virus and threat protection. And then go to manage settings, exclusions, hit yes, uh, we need to wait. Then add an exclusion folder, uh, again paste the path, and then select folder. Uh, it's screwed out for me so uh, because I already added, but for you it should be uh, working. Uh, and then another step what you need to do here is to go to the client where you got the game, and then press on the dots, press on view properties on and launch option thingy here, so, uh, select just Right, minus, windowed, and then save it. And force the game run on windowed mode, uh, because sometimes full screen can cause the, the game not, not to launch, right? On Steam, it will be similar. Uh, just find the game, right click on it, and then just write minus windowed, right? And run the game in windowed mode, and in game, then you can change it to full screen. That's pretty much it. So if I help you out, please press like button and subscribe for more. Take care. Bye.